Hi, welcome back to Channel Train Station 2. All right, we got first in the uh, Dino Park event, first competition. I'm really happy with this. And of course, uh, taking a look at right now, the start of the competitions, we start about 11 hours late. Uh, always advise between 10 to 12 hours late so you avoid those really intense competitions with the really those gem spender. So uh, if you start late, uh, probably you'll meet all the rest of the free to play players. And uh, with that, of course, to spend 110 gems to upgrade that event factory uh, 30 gems for the first uh, manufacturing slot and then another additional 80 gems for the fourth manufacturing slot so in total uh, your factory you have four manufacturing slots that will make things so much easier and not forgetting i mean uh, eventually you're going to collect the materials and of course uh, the vet kit itself i think uh, that's the one that you need those batch trains so uh, you get one free a batch train which is the uh, common train uh, from the event uh, itself and of course you're gonna buy uh, two more of the rare and uh, two more of the common uh, now just doing that extra slots i mentioned about uh, 110 gems spent uh gonna spend uh, later on the uh, good amount of meta keys as well as a good amount of gold uh, to buy that four batch trains all right so these are the uh, four batch trains that are available uh, just do not make that mistake of clicking uh, a duplicate uh, because the next one is the duplicate so the first one you click collect make sure you click collect as well uh, for the duplicate uh, train itself because you may remember that direct otherwise it's really painful if you make that silly mistake all right so just to remember that and uh, be careful with this all right so uh, one more set of uh, common trains to collect and uh, with that uh, we have uh, five of those batch train and uh, with the uh, five trains you could collect the vet kit uh, takes about 50 minutes uh, really really long uh, so it's important um, you got to upgrade the capacity of this uh, batch trains at the same time uh, use the union dollars uh, in order uh, to increase the capacity boost uh, that's important uh, well spend union dollars of uh, those commons and rare and that will allow you to collect off those uh, vet kit really fast and of course throughout uh, there will be gems to be collected and uh, we'll come to that later on so now um lots of things to be done uh, you're going to activate uh, the bonus jobs when you're ready uh, you can see good amount of items to be delivered but yet the good thing is uh, the first few deliveries are 45 seconds uh, that's really good and of course uh, if you need to do that really fast then you may want to think of using the uh, so-called uh, union dollars on legendary trains all right so there's a choice uh, of using legendary trains to do that quick 45 second job at the same time uh, plan what you want to do in terms of spending union dollars on the rare on the commons all right so uh, we all have five batch trains uh, if you're able to increase the capacity really fast uh, for a particular train plus that boost I think that would do a great deal in terms of collecting the vet kits so um, if you could just do more of the common upgrades of a capacity plus the boost union dollars uh, i think the vet kit be collected using commons would be best option and of course you could upgrade uh, the boost for the legendary uh, to finish the 45 second jobs really fast and of course uh, not forgetting uh, uh, vet kit is just uh, one of the things that it takes a long time the remaining uh, raw materials at three minutes so those are the ones you should also be collecting uh, heaps and heaps of them stored in the warehouse so that you can uh, keep on producing them using the event factory round the clock while your dispatches are all sent out so that's important and uh, just a small little tip in terms of the part-time dispatcher um, you know, it is available only for an hour. So if you want to spend this uh, well-deserved uh, part-timer that comes every four hourly uh, for one more hour, what you could do uh, is to have all the uh, events, uh, basically all the uh, dispatchers sent out for the event. And then before you collect um, the part-time dispatcher uh, by watching a video, uh, probably I suggest about three minutes gap and uh, once uh, hour, one hour later, uh, when your all your dispatchers are back, you have three more minutes before uh, your additional part-time dispatcher comes back. Um, you got to time it right so that just within a minute, you spend one gem and you can record it back and quickly send it out again. And of course, the precondition is you have already sent out all the dispatchers. So you can use that part-time dispatcher for another hour. 
So you just got to bear this in mind. It takes a bit of practice. Um, <laughs> some mistakes be done along the way. After one or two tries, you'll be able to take full use at that four hourly part-time dispatcher for twice uh, for a jam. Right? So that's how much it costs to get one more hour. So um, don't forgetting the fact that you're going to watch uh, videos as and when to earn one gem. And of course, along the reward path, there'll be like 20 gems if you add, watch that additional video uh, to times two of that rewards of 10 gems times 20. So with that uh, along the way, you'll be gaining back some of the gems. But I would say that uh, at the first three competitions, spend all you could in terms of the union dollars, in terms of um, those gems and uh, whatever you need to go ahead and spend it, including your goal uh, to upgrade the capacity, those precious parts that have been storing all along and saving up so all this we're going to be spent really really fast and uh, with that first three competitions if you've managed to get first three times you get 1050 of that event uh, coin and you're just going to spend a thousand on the legendary and you're able to unlock that special job and once you clear that special job there'll be 100 ep waiting every time um, the conditions of course that you may must be lucky uh, you keep on getting um, gold train jobs um, because there will be purple train jobs the epic train which we do not have as well uh, you have uh, two chances one chance is uh, free you can replace that job and then after that you get back another purple job you're going to watch a video and hopefully that turn into the gold train job otherwise um, you're going to wait a couple of 12 hours before you can do a replace or a reset to that job again so of course then that brings to the next question uh what's the next train after the gold train of course then is the purple epic train that you should be collecting so of course if you could win um three of the uh, first uh then you can collect like one gold train you spend 2500 keys on the purple epic train then you have the best of both world and uh, you're gonna save up again for another four thousand to claim the second gold train so that's normally how ideal it is but of course as uh, we progress further into the competition, sometimes you have no choice, uh, but you can claim that gold train for a particular reason, because they just need uh, events, uh, particularly type like steam engine and the gold trains, the only one that can do that job, then you gotta just claim that train. So sometimes you are not given a choice, but um, most of the time you will be able to choose and I will advise you then to have the best of both world of a gold and an epic train, all right? So that's about train types. Um, warehouse wise, always use the fine building technique. So you can keep on increasing the population and uh, have the ideal required uh, population to increase the warehouse capacity. That's relatively important as you get everyday experience. Um, warehouse are always full and you can see my factories are full as well um, because they were acting as the additional warehousing and always keep clear of that event uh, factory output tray so you can keep on producing all right so that's important the other thing you're going to keep on producing is basically those iron powder um, because you need to do those saw blades all right so saw blades are relatively important and when you ran out of space this little housekeeping is save a lot of space for you so all those odd numbers spore quantities they are utterly useless um, you get to clear it away you can easily save a, maybe two three hundred uh, warehouse spaces out and then you can carry on to do what you require otherwise you'll be stuck and if you can't uh, do and program progress as well so what i'm trying to do here is a little bit of housekeeping so you've got probably another three or four hundred additional space so we can go on and keep on producing so of course um the ideal situation is to store a lot of tables uh, in the uh, input tray so you can actually cancel that job and then you get back the saw blades and you keep on producing saw blades because it is one and only commodity that's required in the event factory uh, that you're going to work together with the other events material materials to produce the required factory materials all right so uh, that's something you think about and uh, very quickly i'm currently at nice seven one level uh probably another <laughs> 20 odd levels and uh we'll be re reaching the max level again and i'm not to share whether pixel is going to do another uh, level up all right so here we are seven hours left and of course uh, that's the finale uh, we got first uh, in the first competition so uh, very good uh, ep hit start uh, and of course uh, something you're going to build on for the second competition itself thank you so much for watching uh, do like and subscribe have a good rest goodbye <laughs>